Making a pesto from scratch at home is a great way to sort of show your creativity in the kitchen. And while a classic pesto is made using fresh basil, pine nuts and garlic, you can play with other ingredients in the same family. So in this case, something green, like just some washed arugula, has that peppery taste to it. I do like to add a little fresh herb. Now, I'll use fresh basil, but that could be oregano or dill or even mint is delicious. You can use a food processor or an immersion blender, but I actually favor the fine puree you get using a traditional blender. Now, something I like to do is add a pinch of fresh salt. That's actually gonna help set and keep that green color. I will add garlic. And instead of traditional pine nuts, toasted almonds. And it is important to toast whatever nut you choose to use before you add it. I'll start with a little bit of olive oil, but you don't have to add too much. You can add a little as you go along, or you can always add some water just to get the right consistency. It's got so many uses. You can freeze it, keep it in the fridge, a simple spoonful into sour cream, makes an easy dip or a spread for underneath a pizza. Into pureed chickpeas, makes a pesto hummus dip. Or you can spoon it over hot cooked pasta or cooled cooked pasta like this to make a potato salad, pasta salad. You can use it in place of a salad dressing. Also, it can be rubbed onto chicken or salmon or shrimp before you put it in the oven or grill it. Do some have grape tomatoes, some yellow pepper. So you can see how simple it is to make pesto a key flavor builder in your kitchen. Oh, that looks good.